For years, it's been widely regarded as the technology giant of the world. Now, Taiwan is becoming known amongst travellers for its slick modern cities, exciting night markets, talk to Debbie about those, traditional Chinese temples and stunning scenery. So joining us to kick off the Jababwe Tourism Campaign, Director of Taiwan Tourism's Singapore office, Trust Lin, and our resident travel journalist, Debbie Griffiths. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely to have you here. Trust, let me speak to you first. Welcome to New Zealand. Yeah. Now, most people don't actually know about the historic links between our countries. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Well, actually, New Zealand is such a beautiful country. So lots of Taiwanese people, they pick New Zealand as their number one honeymoon destination, including oh. myself. Oh, really? Yeah. But in addition to those romantic linkage, there are some genetic linkage between Taiwanese Aboriginal people and the Maori people. Oh, really? Yes. Well, wow, that's exciting. I did not know that. Uh, now, Debbie, you were in Taiwan in 2016. What were your first impressions? Well, first of all, I had to find it on a map because it's a tiny wee country. You don't realise it's actually about the th a third of the size of the South Island. Um, so it's just off mainland China. And because it's so small, it's so easy to get around. And because they have such brilliant modern technology and transportation system, you can take the high-speed train, 300 k's an hour, and be in the south of the country, you know, within the same day. It's really easy to get around. Uh, the people are gorgeous. When you're on the train, of course, you've got coastline on one side, you've got beautiful rugged mountains on the other. So my first impressions was, wow, I had no idea. I was expecting it all to be like Taipei, you know, the metropolitan kind of city. But once you're out there, the quiet of the country is absolutely pristine. It's beautiful. Excellent. Now, Trust, you're here to yeah. launch the Jababwe campaign. So tell me a little bit about that and why you think New Zealanders are going to love Taiwan. Uh, Jababwe is the way we are greeting and uh, actually it means, do you eat? Have you eat? So we are well, really Yes, I do eat. Yeah, okay. I like to eat. We, we don't ask, how are you? Because normally people say, I'm fine. But yeah. Jababa is really a greeting. That's why we have so many Taiwanese snacks that when you eat, you, you don't feel full. Mm -hmm. But we can talk and eat. That's the way our hospitality. And it really warms feeling to all the visitors to us. Excellent. And why do you think New Zealanders are going to love Taiwan? Uh, well, Taiwanese. We are a friendly country yeah. and beautiful landscape and also the gourmet food. We are really foodie paradise. So Excellent. it's a place you can miss. Sounds like it's got everything. Now, Debbie, yeah. you, when you talk about Taiwan, what were your highlights? Oh, goodness. I mean, the natural beauty is just amazing. Kenting region, uh, you go down there, white sand beaches that I wasn't expecting with black volcanic rocks. So really rugged and really diverse scenery that you've got there. Um, good surfing in Taiwan. Yeah. Who would know? It's gorgeous. And then the night markets are phenomenal. I mean, you're getting gifts and clothes and beautiful food that Trust was talking about. I mean, that food is everywhere yeah. and it's amazing cuisine that they have in Taiwan. You, you re, yeah, foodie's paradise. Foodie it's, paradise. It is gorgeous. So finally, Trust, what are the top three things that all New Zealanders should do when they come to Taiwan? First of all, definitely to make friends. Mm -hmm. We are the most friendly country in the world. Mm -hmm. Maybe same as New Zealanders. Excellent. <laughs> okay. yeah. And it, in addition to that, the I just Debbie mentioned the gourmet food. Mm -hmm. Don't miss our food, especially street food. But we also have some Michelin uh, food as well. Uh, yeah. The third one, definitely our culture and landscape. Mm -hmm. So make the most of the culture of the landscape, eat to your heart's content and make sure you talk to all the people because everyone's super friendly. Now stop eating and now yeah, stop absolutely. making friends. It from the high perfect. class, yeah, from the high class restaurants to street food, it's all amazing. Yeah. Sounds like something for every Kiwi. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Trust. Debbie, thank you. Thank you. Thank Great you. Travel, travel tips as always. And if you would like advice or information for your next trip to Taiwan, go to the website, which is on screen.